Uh, today we had a fantastic day. Uh, we shot our first big part, uh, meaning we did an infusion of our mold. So we uh, put about 15 layers of carbon fiber on a, the plug, which is the male form of our mold. Laid up the carbon fiber in dry stack formation. Put a bag on it, a vacuum bag, pulled vacuum, and sucked resin through it. So we have a very resin rich mold, which is what we want, uh, as opposed to how we build our parts. When we build our parts out of that mold, the uh, parts will be uh, with pre preg carbon fiber for the foiler and pre preg uh, epoxy for the X and XC. And the pre preg is where the cloth comes to, the, to us uh, with the resin already in the cloth. When Nomex first came out, it was state of the art. Uh, today, we have a lot more options in our core materials. So, we're using some higher density material in areas where we need it, uh, trailering, for instance, in the bottom of the boat, and some lesser density materials such as Nomex in our deck area. Yeah, for the less expensive boats, we have uh, e glass, and then for the foiler, which you want to be lighter and stiffer, is a carbon boat. Uh, we're saving about 20% going with carbon. Uh, the original stilettos, the pre preg I think was a wet preg, what we call a wet preg today, where the cloth is laid out, resin is thrown on it, rolled out, wrung out, and put on the boat. In that case, you get about 50% resin to cloth ratio. Uh, the, with our pre preg materials, we're getting 32 to 34% uh, resin to cloth ratio, which means we're saving about 20% of the weight of the resin with the new boats over the old. When we want to use the pre-preg, we put it in our mold and we are at about 66 degrees to 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and we, can, we have about a week and a half to two weeks to work with it. Uh, we're going to laminate our boats in a couple of days so it's not a problem and then once we've done our outer skin, put our core material in, put our inner skin in, we pull vacuum on it and we cook. And we have a, it's like a good cup of coffee. A lot of people know the ingredients or the formula, but not so many people know exactly the ratios and the percentage and the ramp up in temperature and the ramp down in temperature. So we're using a formula that we developed back in uh, 85, 86 at McConaughey's where I started my life as a boat builder and it's proven over the years to be the correct formula. Here we are, our oven is starting to be built. We're only a couple days away from having our oven complete, so we'll, we'll do our first boats in our oven. Uh, our oven is a, basically a room that can be a clean room, a cool room and a hot room. Uh, as mentioned before, we're going to go up to about 210 Fahrenheit in this, in this oven and we'll cool it down when we're laying up our boat, we'll cool it down to about 50 degrees and then when we're cooking our boat, we'll slowly crank it up to 210 uh, for about a 24 hour period. Cool it down, pull the boat out of the mold and do another one.